So tonight we're gonna work on our mac and cheese. Uh, this is not your typical mac and cheese. This is more macaroni infused into a giant block of cheese. We've got, I hope you can hear them, crispy, crunchy edges along everything here. Sorry for those with the earphones, I had to turn that up. Got our sweet and salty bits of ham. All cooked throughout. Some of them are on the edge. They are nice and crispy. Look at that cheese goo. Oh my god. This recipe comes from my personal family. They've been doing this since uh, uh, great grandma, well, great great grandma Davis put it into the something from the Pasteurized Expo from 1904 St. Louis. So we're going to be using up four different types of cheese. We've got our half a block of Philadelphia cream cheese. We're going to be using a half a pound of Swiss cheese, a full pound of Colby Jack, and a full pound of sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna need a quart, half and half cream, one packet of saltines, white pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, a full stick of butter, a pound of large elbow macaroni, so go ahead and grab that stuff out. Grab your butter. Into your skillet. We're going to start this melting slowly on the lowest temperature possible. Grate up all your cheese. And right after the other one. Pasta's ready to rock. And I know what you're thinking. That man said he's gonna put three pounds of dairy into one pound of macaroni. Yes, yes I did. You don't believe me? Watch. Now we're melting the butter and the cream cheese so that it coats evenly throughout the dish. Pasta should be soft, but not. It's pliable but not cooked through. We've got our three eggs. Quart of your half and half goes in. Scrape your pan down with your rubber spatula. All right, at this point, grab your crackers, crunch them up. We're gonna make our own little pieces of cracker any longer. Cracker crumbs. Add your cracker crumbs to your mix. Quarter of a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Quarter teaspoon of granulated onion. And a half of a teaspoon of white pepper. And we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for about five minutes. Everybody in, make sure we got no nobody left behind. Now this amount of liquid that's in here right now is going to go ahead and evaporate mostly, leaving us with super thick, creamy, heavy cheese sauce. Cheddar, in my opinion, caramelizes one of the best. And this is a cheese, or this is a mac and cheese, that yes, it's about the cheese. Yes, it's about the macaroni. Yes, it's about fighting all your siblings for the corner because it's got the most crunchy, crusty, cheesy parts. Right. Take your nice small bowl. 
fill up your topping. You can get your chunks of ham. Kind of break them up nicely if it's uh, a little clumped together from them from being in there. Give them all a full stir. See how thick that's gotten? Not runny at all. We didn't have too much liquid in it. Make sure the edges are indented in. That way you don't wind up with a smoked out kitchen from cheddar cheese going and boiling over the top into your oven at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. You can hear the crackling. Come in, grab an edge. Work. Got our sweet and salty bits of ham. All cooked throughout. Some of them are on the edge. They are nice and crispy. Look at that cheese goo. Oh my God. She was so sexy. Oh. You've got some really nice uh, crispy edges. Nice and brown. Those are nice and crunchy. The noodles aren't the cheese is. Noodles are soft. Cheese is so creamy and velvety. Thank you for stopping by. We've got new weekly videos that are, that are coming out. We've got a whole list of older recommendations that are on the channel now. But every Thursday, uh, our premiere is at 6.30, answering questions all throughout the, all throughout the run. Uh, please feel free to stop by, ask anything that you have, leave us a message. interesting content that's coming out here uh, in the upcoming weeks along with uh, what we've done in the past. You can check them out here and down here soon along with our Instagram and Patreon.